Happy Wednesday. I hope it's been a great midpoint of the week for you. This is kind of the start of our downward trend of temperatures, though, and that started with the cold front that came through early this morning. You can see now, though, in Saugatuck, we have some cloud cover out there, but there are also some pockets of sunshine, and that's kind of how it's been across much of the area. Temperatures have been falling, though. We actually hit our high temperature around midnight when the temperature was 65. We've recovered to 63 this afternoon, but that strong northwest wind pulling in cool air has really affected our temperature temperatures late this afternoon. We're now 54 in Hart, we're 56 in Fremont, 59 for Sparta and 58 for Granville and Grand Rapids. A little farther to the south, we're 61 in Kalamazoo, 58 in South Haven, and overall feeling much cooler than yesterday. There's a little bit of flow here from the northwest, squeezing out a tiny bit of moisture, but there's not really a big chance of rain here in the short term. We are going to continue to stay cooler through the rest of the week, but there is another frontal system coming through on Friday that brings a better chance for rain. This one does actually look to give us some significant rain, and following that, will have a mostly sunny weekend and temperatures overall hanging out fairly close to average. That front continuing to push to our south and east. You can see on the backside a little bit of this northwest flow helping to provide enough for maybe some light drizzle, but overall not going to be looking at any appreciable rain. This high pressure has come in from Canada. This is also helping to clear the clouds out and as it moves over us tonight and into tomorrow, we will gradually see clouds on the decrease heading through the rest of the day today. So our rain chances, we're bumping them up to 80% for the day on Friday that will be primarily in the morning, although there could be a lingering shower into the afternoon or evening. I think that's going to be just about it for the week, but signals into next week do look a bit more active, so we'll have to see what ends up panning out. Thursday, a dry day with a lot of sunshine, some clouds coming in late in the afternoon ahead of this next frontal boundary. That boundary is still out into the Rockies, and timing-wise, it looks like a lot of this first batch of rain will be moving through Friday morning before the sun rises, and then we'll get a second round as we head into the 8 to 9 o'clock time frame so you'll need your windshield wipers and maybe your umbrella for the morning but it looks like as we get into around noontime, most of that rain will be towards Lansing, Flint, and areas to the east. Heading through the rest of the day Friday, looking pretty quiet. And rain totals here, this is actually quite an improvement from what it looked like yesterday. Anywhere from about a tenth of an inch of rain to hopefully about a quarter inch of rain. We definitely need more than this, as October typically gives us about four inches of rain here in West Michigan. But it looks like this is as good as it's going to get with this event. And we'll take anything that we can get. Tonight's going to be chilly. We're dropping to about 35 gradually clearing skies and with that northwest wind helping to pull in that cool air we are definitely going to be feeling it high temperatures through the day tomorrow ending up in the upper 50s and low 60s although that is cool it is still pr pretty close to average in fact right on the money as we go through the rest of the week and the weekend temperatures primarily staying cool